Welcome back to EDU in 90. Any educator will tell you that assessments are a critical piece of effective teaching. After all, without a clear sense of what a student knows or doesn't know, it's difficult to tailor instruction to their unique needs. Many educators use quizzes in Google Forms to help with both formative and summative assessments. We heard from educators that they wanted a way to keep students focused and distraction-free during quizzes and tests, and we recently shared a new feature to help you with that. That's right. We're talking about locked mode for quizzes in Google Forms, only on managed Chromebooks, which gives teachers full control over assessments with a simple click of a checkbox. Let's take a closer look at what locked mode is and how it works. Our education product teams work closely with educators to understand their needs and preferences. We heard strong feedback from teachers that they wanted to ensure their students are not navigating to other browser tabs while taking assessments. Based on that, we developed Locked Mode for quizzes in Google Forms. Available only on managed Chromebooks, Locked Mode prevents students from navigating away from the quiz in Chrome browser until they submit their answers. Let's take a look at how to enable it. After confirming that you meet the eligibility requirements, navigate to Google Forms and open a quiz. Click the Settings icon from the top and select Quizzes from the toolbar. From there, check the button to turn on Locked Mode. When you turn on Locked Mode, your quiz will be limited to your domain, will collect email addresses, and allow students to only submit their assessment once. Students won't be able to use other apps, and some extensions and keyboard shortcuts will be disabled. If a student exits the quiz or opens any other tab, the teacher is notified via email. Many accessibility features are available for use during locked mode, such as auditory aids like Chrome Vox and Select to Speak, as well as visual aids like high contrast mode and magnification settings. See the description below for full details and eligibility requirements. Give it a try and let us know what you think. As always, we rely on feedback from educators to improve our tools. And don't forget to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Curious to know more about the accessibility features that are built into Chromebooks? Check out our last episode and we'll tell you all about them.